There are so many pledges and tiers and so many differences that we really wanted to reward people that uh, contributed so much to the project so we decided to have tiers for hangers and depending on your, what your pledge was you can get a bigger and better hanger. So we created a tier system <clears throat> and so currently we're now completed the first hanger, the entry level hanger which is the discount hanger. And then we've moved on now to a business hanger which is the second tier. So for the people that have like the Hornet for example or whatnot. And then for the people that have the Constellation, we give this nice, we're also working on the nice big deluxe hanger. This is going to be our initial three hangers for our first release. So right now we're uh, trying to wrap up both the business hanger and the deluxe hanger so we can bring them to you guys as soon as possible. So the first thing we do is start designing it. And first, we've got to make sure that it fits the particular ships that it's going to have in there. And then we start building out all the concept. So once we get enough concept, we start trying to look through it and figure out exactly what the style is we're going for, then we start approving concept. At that point, I start building out the base architecture, and then we get some additional concept and actually start dealing out all the objects that need to go into the hangar. And at that point, we take it, and we dish it out and make sure everything starts getting made properly. And then once it gets made, it comes back to me, and then I start placing it, putting it in there, and building it into my architecture. Um, so walls, ceilings, lights, all that stuff. And then uh, we just start uh, making sure that it's built in a system that can duplicate and that can expand and contract. So we build everything, every piece in it, in a particular scale, a particular measurement. And then we know, take this measurement, bring it over, and we know that our ship's gonna fit, we know that when it duplicates, our other ship's gonna fit, and you get this nice contracting, expanding system. Probably the biggest challenges we have with the hangar is we have to create an environment that can potentially be huge. And uh, the biggest challenge, obviously, is getting it to run at a um, game level quality as far as the frame rates go, because we do push everything at a high, very high degree. Our, our lights all have shadows, our geometry is very high, uh, there's tons of detail, we try to make it as realistic as possible, great sound, uh, go all out, you know, particles, go all out, everything. So we have to really be careful and make things as efficient and smart as possible to make sure that when it does build out and now you have all these shadows and everything and you have all this detail that just keeps going and going and going, you got to make sure that at some degree, you know, you're being smart about how it's scaling down the further it gets away. That way you're keeping your frame rates up so we could get it to run on everybody's computers. <laughs> the thing I'm looking forward to most in the next three months is to see the reactions from people as they finally get to see their ship, right? They get to get into it and I'm looking forward to seeing, actually being able to see people climb in for the first time and start getting people's reactions and you know, maybe more requests what they would want in a hangar and uh, start seeing people actually swap out different parts of their ships for other ships and get their upgrades and then see what people will actually come up with when they build them. The next big task is to close out the hangars to get them ready, to get them tested, and to get them shipped. But then after that, we are going to have more ships coming in, more hangars coming in. So throughout, there's going to be no dead time. So as soon as we get our first line of ships and our first line of hangars out, and we're working towards our alpha, which is the dogfighting, uh, throughout that dead time, we will continually be releasing new ships, getting them to you, and releasing new hangars for the new ships. Yeah, no, 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 okay. Hello. Now we're back. Yeah, now we're back. Oh, yeah, uh, mute hey, Twitch for us. Mute Twitch? Yeah. Twitch is all good. Oh. So that's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, that's cool. It is? Um, Forrest is not here to talk about the hangar with us, but we do have uh, Michael Moreland who edited all these great videos. Right? Like, oh. I know anything. <laughs> <laughs> So how many ships can you put in the hangar? <laughs> two billion. So if you buy two billion ships, 
we'll have a place to keep them for you. <laughs> I think I think Faris said like in about forty five ships they it crashed. Wow. <laughs> Just a poly overload. Yeah. Well we don't have any level of detail, so it gets to be crazy. And then also the hangar itself is like made out of small like little Lego blocks and that we need to optimize that too. So everybody out there, uh, try to buy more than 45 ships to make sure that this is all working correctly when the uh, hangar module ships. Ruben's already got that covered. <coughs> well, considering the level of detail in the hangars, I mean, if you saw some of the footage of the thing, you and just flying around the ceiling with all the ductwork and, and oh. it's amazing what's in there. No spiders, though, right? Uh, well, I maybe mean, if you hang, if it hangs around long enough, you'll you'll start seeing something growing in the corners. Uh, Pixley, Pixley, God damn it! <laughs> oh, oh, I don't know what no, just no. happened. Four hours seems like a really long time right about now, people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Time for a board game. Maybe a risk. I love Risk. Four <laughs> hours? No, we can't finish Risk at four hours. I have hours. Castle Risk at home. I should have brought that in. Yeah, I haven't. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Castle Risk? I know we can play over four hours. Oh, so Risk is an ally. That is totally takes right? fewer yeah. than four we can, hours. We can set up the map in four hours. Castle, <laughs> yes. Castle Risk. Four hours to set up. I have Star Wars Trivial Pursuit. That's you know, what we need. Including um, some, some cards you can draw. Yeah, go get the Star Wars Trivial Pursuit. We're going to try our luck in Star Wars Trivial Pursuit. Or the ability to travel by sea. With an group of armies to attack the shore of another. Okay. okay. Yeah. So there, it's, it breaks up the. Um, is it basically the same map? Or, uh, mm. a bit when are we going to see a Star Citizen board game? <laughs> Mostly Europe, actually. Ah. That's what they did before. Um, ben, what do we got left on the stuff? Because there's a couple of things here, but I don't think we're going to show them on the schedule. Oh, okay. Let me let me take a look. See the schedule, Michael. Yep. Uh, let's go. Seven a.m. Make the hangar. Ready? No, I got it. Eight o'clock. Our KI test footage. That's out. There we go. Still coming up. Uh, what time is it now? Hey, you know what? The making of the hangar, which we just did. Um, <laughs> AI test footage. That's out. That's out. That's out. I guess Scrub has gone. Scrub. Got that coming? Got that. Why don't you take a look at it? Because sure, I don't, I don't want to speak out of turn. Yeah, yeah we have that. redacted. Got a little uh, teaser about the Hornet. Uh, that that was our last, no! our last um, behind the scenes video, though. Uh, uh -huh. The light goes out the window after twenty four hours straight. <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually opened this. We could. Uh, pull out random could reveal around. the uh, caterpillar oh, at uh, uh, say. Is it now? Yep, never opened. Nine <laughs> or eight thirty. That's a bit of time for an hour. What is this caterpillar of which you speak? Caterpillar. 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 Never heard of it. It's, it's, it's never heard of it. I keep hearing these. Entirely <laughs> made up. <laughs> How you doing, Chris? I am. Um, at that level. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having trouble making completions. And so right. I'm I'm that, that level where. Dave in the background, way back there. Madness. 